Now, are we a step closer to creating cyborgs? A filmmaker who lost his eye in a shooting accident has inserted a camera into his eye socket. It hasn't restored his vision, but instead records everything that he sees. And we're going to find out all about that now. Rob Spence, eyeball man, joins me to explain. Rob, uh, how exactly did this come about? Because this is your invention, isn't it? It is. Um, I lost my eye. And I'm a documentary filmmaker, so it was a natural idea to replace it with a video camera. Basically, I met up with engineers who are as equally into Star Trek as I am, and we did it for no budget. Uh, and we just had a lot of fun with it. But, but how exactly does it work? Because this isn't real time. You're not seeing this yourself. You're seeing it's this on the screen, to my as brain, we can see right. right now. Yeah, it's not connected to my, to my brain, but it's, it's got a video camera, a battery, and a transmitter, and it transmits the video through the air to a receiver that I can plug into any video recording right, device. So it's I a like. wireless signal. So very quickly, can we get you to look around our studio here and show everyone at home exactly Absolutely. what you look, see? I'm looking at, look at that giant camera over there. <laughs> Slightly different from the yeah. one you have. And obviously this is great for you as a filmmaker, but, but what about people at home who might have lost an eye? Can, can they really make use of this or have any value in it? Yeah, well, I just did a documentary where I filmed a guy with another kind of bionic eye. Uh, he's a guy who has a chip in his retina. And I went around the world and videotaped various people with the top-level cybernetics. So eventually it'll be my, a combination of my eye and this fellow I met who's got a chip in his retina that's connected directly to his brain that'll combine to make a future eye that, that, that a lot of people may actually be using. So, so this is very futuristic, though. So maybe not now for the average person, but in the future, certainly. Well, yeah, but it, you'd be surprised how quickly technology is moving. Rob Spence, thanks very oh, and, much. Oh, and, and I've got a documentary out there. It's... Oh, oh, yeah, there's a documentary out there. I just finished it. I'm quite proud of it. It's at youtube.com, Deus Ex Official. Rob Spence, thanks very much indeed for that. Thank you.